beauty babes and welcome back to my channel it's jessica fit beauty if you're new welcome i hope that you will subscribe if you're coming back welcome back today i'm going to be creating this dark queen for you using only makeup that you can find in your home so if you guys want to see this look and hopefully learn how to recreate it for yourself go ahead and watch all right guys so to get started obviously my foundation is already done i'm also concealed Prime, yada yada, all that's done. But to start off, I'm going to use the Sonia Kushak Kajol Pencil. You can find it at Target. And then I'm going to take a Royal Lane Nickel Tightly Packed Brush, and I'm going to start really kind of smudging that whole Kajol Pencil out all across my eye, almost all the way up to the brow bone, and then kind of out into a wing. And I did this in a matter of just kind of layers. So I kept adding more Kajol Pencil over top to just really get the full definition that I wanted. As you can see here, I'm kind of bringing it down on the inner eye, really just kind of bringing it into a point there and then building it up and just really getting that fine definition that I wanted. And of course, I'm gonna go here again and bring it up just a little bit higher along that brow bone and then fully extend that wing out, creating a very smudged out effect. Now I'm gonna go in with the Urban Decay palette and I'm gonna use the black in this palette. It's a really good matte black. And I'm gonna start applying that matte black over top. This will lock that Kajol pencil in. And so I'm just gonna really pack it on. You could really use any matte black eyeshadow you had. This one was just on hand and I hadn't used this palette since I purchased it. So I wanted to use it. And then as you can see here, I'm gonna take a blender brush and I'm just gonna really kind of soften the lines so everything just looks smudgy and grungy and funky. And then I go underneath the eye with the Kajol pencil and then I'm gonna start smudging it and kind of dragging it down little by little and just really working it in underneath there. Again, of course, I'm not showing the whole entire process. I'm showing you snippets, but you just wanna work in little pieces and slowly apply more smudge it out a little more, apply a little more, etc. Now I'm going in with the NARS Creamy Concealer in Custard, and this is how I covered my eyebrows. That's all I literally did was that. And then I took a little bit of a nude eyeshadow, which is not shown here, to set it, but that gave me kind of like a blonde brow effect, and it worked so good with this look. I was super happy. Now I'm going in with this kind of gunmetal NYX eyeshadow and I'm going to go ahead and apply it on my lids in the middle like a halo eye and then underneath in the middle and then I start dragging it down as you can see on the opposite eye it's kind of like a tear effect and this is such a nice metallic you really could stop right here if you wanted to but you know leave it to your girl Jessica because I'm always going to take it a step further so after I completed this step I went back in and I went and started to contour here so I used the NYX contour three-step contour and I just really wanted to carve out my cheeks of course my forehead as well as my nose and I know you're probably like well I thought you were gonna do more on the eyes well I am I just you know sometimes I work so backwards because I kind of have these looks planned out but then I got to just kind of go you know as I'm going so now I'm going to go in with that blending brush that I also used on my eyes. So there's still a little bit of black left on it. And I'm going to start using that to contour my nose as well as my cheeks. And it's going to look a little rough at first, but I go back in and I really blend it out. But again, I want to create that kind of like dark, vampy, dark queen look that I was going for in my head. And I think that um, I achieved it pretty well. I was really happy with it. I like the way that this turned out. And now I'm going in with the NYX Contour Intuitive Palette and I'm gonna take that white shadow and I kind of went, whoa, after I did it. But once I kind of worked it in more and blended it, I really liked how it looked because it was that contrast of the dark and light and it really gave some cool highlighting effect, which I think would look really good at nighttime for a Halloween party because it would just really pop and look so fun and so pretty. And at first I was like, this look is kind of scary, but then it's kind of sexy too. Like she's just very cool. And then I also took that white shadow mixed with a little bit of the highlighter from that palette. And I just started taking it into my tear duct area to just really kind of make it pop and create some dimension. So nothing was flat. And you can see I'm just kind of working it in there with a brush. And then I went in and put the cheek color from the Contour Intuitive Palette on my cheek. It's kind of a very nice rosy, bronzy undertone to it. 
So I thought it worked really well with this whole look because it gave a different dimension. And then going in with this NYX glitter, I'm going to go ahead and apply it. It's like a glitter liner. I'm going to apply it on my lower lash. I also apply it in my halo area and I just kind of drag it down onto that tier. And I like the effect it gave, but I still felt like it needed more of a pop. It just needed more, more oomph and I just wasn't getting it with this on its own. So once I was done there, I went ahead and I took the Wet n Wild from the Dark Mermaid collection in this kind of greeny purpley color and I applied it just to the center on the bottom and then I kind of smudged it out so everything blended together and then I went in with this Motives Glitter which is like a black and opalescent kind of color and I just applied a little bit more of that. Really, you don't have to do this many steps, but I'll tell you the more steps that you do, it creates so much more dimension and makes it really, really cool. And last but not least, I went in with the Rimmel London Black Eyeliner and I used it for my lips. I outlined my entire lips top and bottom. And then I took a small kind of pencil or definer brush and I really just defined like that line to kind of smudge it up so it looked really messy and funky and again, grungy because that was what this whole look was all about, was looking really grungy. And it gives it a little bit more dimension by dragging it up. And then I dragged lines out where my smile lines would be just to kind of make her look a little more creepy. And I really, really like this lippy. If you have a black liquid lipstick, that would be even better. But this works. So if all you have is a liner, totally works. And then I took a clear gloss over top. And that was it for this look. It's so easy. I hope you guys recreate it. And that's it. All right, guys, so that is it for this look. I really hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that you will recreate it. If you do, make sure that you tag me in any of your recreations in any of my social media. You can even just send them to me privately on Snapchat, and I won't share them if you don't want me to, but if you do, let me know because I love resharing your guys' recreations. This was super easy using mainly affordable makeup that you can find in your own home because you guys requested it. So. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, we'll be seeing you soon. Bye.